Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, he's open. He's wide open. Cracked open in the face. And welcome everyone, it's Mario and 100, we're back again with Mario Party 8, so let's continue on with Star Battle Arena, to the second map, which of course we did see last, the end of last episode, the last game, go into Goomba's Booty Boardwalk. It's gonna be the Scapelli Brothers! Wow, the obvious time. And uh, that's, that's a reference to the Mara, the, the original Mara movie. So yeah, <laughs> Scapelli Brothers. Goomba's Booty Blob Blob. Now, this map is actually cut like uh, DK's tree, tree Top Temple, it's half the map. But I think, considering it's, you know, it is a um, simpler, it makes sense. And we heard, you know, we heard the, uh, we heard the rules last time, didn't we? Heard that. <laughs> and it's been a couple of weeks since the last recording. I said that it was the 12th, and today's the 30th when I'm actually recording this, so, uh, of January, so, yeah. Got 10 coins to start, got 40 coins to get. Yeah, so we got Piantas all over the place in this game. Gives a little bit more credence that um that this game was originally supposed to be on the GameCube or was developed for the GameCube. Because Piantas are everywhere and of course that was huge for uh, the GameCube because of um, Sunshine. If I get a six, this one is not bad. No. I got the coins that I lost back. Which one is? Yeah, so a lot of the uh, aspects of the normal multiplayer gameplay 
is shut off on this map. So like the, the dolphins in the background, you can ride for a certain amount of coins. Uh, you can't do that on this map. It looks like it looks like let's say uh, that's a happening space. Challenge game. I think out of the three, it's the worst of the three. To memorize the fruit tunnels before they are turned over, they select the fruit shown. When two or more fruits have been indicated, you can choose them in any order. And then it's AOB and using the corner control. So this uses, uses the infrared. Answers. Uh, this this is an uh, aspect of the game that of uh, the map that um, that stays true to multiplayer as well. You get chucked up. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll find out. We'll take uh, DK coins. Yeah, you put five coins in, and then you shake the barrel. And you get three seconds to shake the barrel. So you gave him double in a bit of his coins. So you got five coins back, but then he also got six coins in. And profit, but that one can be pretty high if you could shake really well. I'm landing on Bowser's face, I don't know. I'm landing on Bowser's face. Um. Points. I forget what Bowser does on this map. Wow. Board board, yeah, nice one. Nice one, Daniel. Wow, I forgot that did that. Oh my god. I'm a little long to let this face right now. Places, but... Why don't you put me out of really space, guys? Fuck off. And just like the original map, the crew comes out, kidnaps your pl the player character. You get put in the cannon and get shot all the way back. 
to stars. <laughs> now on the multiplayer map, it's worse because of course it's double the Now, I think there's a few candies that can be in multiplayer. Uh, I think it's like Bolo and Springo and a few other things. I think there is possible that you can get a Duolo from that. Because I think I've seen that happen before. I think I've gotten a Duolo out of that before. Which is pretty fucking funny. Alright, let's see. But sometimes it is better to get shot by the cannon in this in this game mode. Because going to Captain Boomer, you gotta go through the um, the whole speech bubbles and what he says and everything like that and then you get shut down. And you get, it, it just looks funny how that yeah that you get shot out of a cannon. One point. Fuck me. Oh, that's right. They all they go to the bloody actual star space in this because I think in multiplayer you just get like a a plank of wood on with some seagulls <laughs> holding the rope. There's like a plank of wood tied by two ropes and then seagulls holding it. And you go all the way back to start. Oh, what's the bet? What's the bet? What is the bet? There it is! Fucking flop! I had 10 coins, maybe not like 30. He doesn't get those coins, he just destroys them, that's the problem. Now I think I missed the box here. By taking the ball there. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, I got ten. I, got, I forgot I get twenty coins for that. Now, if he blows me back to start, I actually don't mind. Like really early on, so. don't get payments when you're landing on the stairs. To be fair, it would be it would be shit if uh, you're landing on the green space and you used to add pay coins as well.
But yeah, it sucks because it, it, I think it's the same amount of spaces too. I think it's like two or three before the end. So if you go all the way there to get a star and hit that green space, you get a green space and you get sent all the way back to start and that could be disastrous. Especially when you're like in the running to get a star and you don't make it because of that. It's very annoying. So, he's definitely getting coins next turn. Ooh, perfect turn. I'll get sent back to the start, but I'm surprised he didn't use it. Would have made sense for him to use that there. Oh, I got a challenge. Let's go 20. Okay, thank God. <laughs> There's enough coins in there. Might be one short. No, there's, there's, there's enough coins on the board. So, Thirteen coins short at the end. Of the why is he using it now? God damn, dude. It's always on the borderlines and they get in the wrong fucking value. It's funny because I get on the border and I always get the smaller value, not the bigger one. I think, I think it's barely happen to be the, 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 the biggest, bigger one than the small one. There's always been like the one or the least amount. But yeah, I think this is one of the first Mario Party games to do the mini game before the, the dart throw. Most of them might do that, I don't know. He's only stopped twice for Florence there. Where does he pull that rose out from? <laughs> and does he do that in Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix? I forget. Wrist strap, why are we playing with wrist strap? Jeez, 10 coins being the most. Like, come on. Well, I got my 10 coins back. <laughs> That's the bonus out of that. I get, I get the 10 coins that were stolen. <laughs> from the vampire, so then they, they negated the vampire like right out. He's not for us now. So I did a decent roll, I got like, by the time I get... 
If it's like a medium to decent roll, it could be in a good position to win this straight away. Oh, you're just like a little bit of bad. What a game! <laughs> Lovely music for this map. I think out of the the maps, I think this one is probably my favorite. Like Goomba's Booty Boardwalk, I think is probably my favorite. Um, but there's some really, really strong maps for this stuff. Like, uh, I think, in my, my personal opinion, there's, there's quite a few good maps in this. And I wish some of the maps and like more of the mini games came back. For the superstars, like we've got to get DLC for that game at some point, right? Is he gonna use his blow away candy? Yep. So he misses out on the candy coming up here. If he rolls a one, he's fucked. If he rolls a two, well, that's okay. That's fine. Look, I got a twice scan for that. So it's it's fun. But yeah, like some of the map like I think all the maps, I think DK's is probably the the one that's probably not as good. Because you got this map as the full map is fantastic. I think it's probably one of my, it's probably my favourite map in the game. You've got the next map, which is a straight line, but it's a pretty cool straight line. I've got enough coins. Well, I don't lose any coins by the challenge in the game, so it's fine. And then we go on to the map after that, which is really cool in concept. And execution and essentially multiplayer. Single player, I can't remember what the stipulation is. Uh, and then the last map is, is different again to all the others as well. Did it again. <laughs> I nearly fucked up again. At least it wasn't at the, the start, it was at the end this time. <laughs> I, I don't know how I've been lucky twice to, to do that. I think Clover, I nearly fucked it up. 20 coins, jeez, my god. I'm still pretty far away at the moment. So a lot can happen, especially when something like that happens. the same amount, I've only got 10 <laughs> What's the bet? What's the bet I blame the Bowser Spaces on? I think this happens when I uh, get in front. Like, if somebody gets in front, like, has the 50 points.
And then Vampire Candy or 20 coins. And he got nothing. <laughs> It's like, okay, there it is! And it's nothing! <laughs> Get fucked! <laughs> Ten minutes away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. Oh. I might as well use my blower candy just to get rid of it because I could possibly get like coming up I could get like a, a thrice or twice candy. I missed this we missed the one that's coming up. I got six. I didn't land on the Bowser space at least so that's a bonus. Yeah, I love how, like, a lot of the luck that I had in the first game just, like, got fucked. I got fucked over real bad. Jesus, now it's a race. Well, he's only, what, he's only three spaces in front of me? I'd, ra I'd, I'd say I'd rather destroy half than gain half. Could get fucked and land on a Bowser space up later. i miss it again. But I'd rather have the... I would have rather had the coins off the board completely than have them and then get stolen. Because I don't want to land on a versus space and then lose all my coins. That's that's the issue of having so many coins. Because if I destroy them, then I get rid of a lot of the the challenge when it comes to the like versus game, like the versus mini games and stuff like that. And I can understand that like a lot of those mini like those coins are not mine. Like a lot of those would be mine. But I don't want to give away heaps of coins, that's the problem. Oh, that mini game's good. Oh, we in a scare. Okay, I actually like this one. Didn't play this one a lot. So tilt the wings of your plane as you try to clear the obstacles and reach the finish line first. If you hit an obstacle or trap, your aircraft will rebound and you'll lose time. And then you're just tilting left and right with the Wii Remote through like the gaps and stuff like that. Eventually, I'll get it. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I got 20 again. Let's take all of our coins. <laughs> Jesus. This is gonna be a lame slide. Candy. Oh, that's a decent roll. Challenge me to game again, God. I don't want to do it. Can you give me Stampede? So I can have all three in, it in the same game? And it will. This one's pretty good too. Uh, I think the fruit picking game, I think, is. Is the uh, least cool. Yeah, so it actually gives you the rules. So stamp your mark on 20 sheets of white paper to win. Avoid stamping Bowser sheets. You lose two points if you stamp Bowser, Bowser page, so be careful. Yeah, 20 is the number that you want to get. I think. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think if uh, you reach 20, I think I said the game's over. And you're running on fiber as well. Oh, that's right, ace. Yeah. You can mash the button. I forgot you can mash the button, you can miss mash, I think it's just the A button to skip the page. Forgot about that. That's why you read the controls. I forgot that it was only just a uh, I thought it was only just a stamp and you didn't press any buttons to skip any of the things. Ooh. Mario's like, Bowser, what? <laughs> I love how it, it takes a little while to load. Oh my god! I don't think that's soon enough. Well, I mean, we've seen you twice today, guys, and that's just about it. I don't think we want to see you anymore. <laughs> so I have got eight to get. Yes! Let's go! Six to, hey, it's like I do this on purpose. <laughs> it's like I do it intentionally. Very nice. Six to nine. Very nice. <laughs> One and done. Well, that's just like a jigsaw puzzle that just falls apart. <laughs> the results have been saved. <laughs> what do you mean? Wow, what do you mean? Mario! Oh, that's right, I forgot about this one. So it's not the next one, it's the one after this one. So let's get a little preview of what happens in the next episode. King Boo's Haunted Hideaway. Uh, 
Uh, let's not, because I will hear the secrets on the next. Done for Goomba's booty boardwalk, and um, but could take a while. I think I'm gonna end the recording here because uh, I don't want to record in the next one and then have to stop. So because I really want to do like one board per session it would make a lot more sense. Just because I think, uh, especially if I'm gonna do it again, like I don't want to stop recording like in the middle of a game, it just doesn't seem right to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there. So yeah, that was Goomba's Booty Ball Walk. Played well against Wario. Wario lost pretty much everything. <laughs> and got burned by Bowser. <laughs> and everything like that. So next time we'll be heading into King Boo's Haunted Hideaway. Um, to get two stars off him, which I think both of them cost 10 coins, so yeah, 20 coin game. But lots of twists and turns in that map, and it has a pretty cool gimmick in general for it. So, but we'll hear the secrets of that map next time on this Let's Play. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mario Party 8, and uh, Star Battle Arena, single player mode. The Nintendo Wii, this has been my Man Tell 100. You guys have a great day or night, and of course, take care. <laughs>